click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Welcome to this chapter about layers. Layers are a very important part of Photoshop Elements, and I highly recommend learning about and using them to your advantage. In this module, we'll discuss layers in general, adjustment layers, and opacity. I have a JPEG image open here in the editor. If I open the layer panels over here to the right, you can see that by default, there is only one layer currently. It's called background, and it's locked. Sometimes you want to save a copy of this original layer, so you can refer to it later. You can do this by right-clicking and choosing Duplicate Layer. This creates a copy. If you are not familiar with layers, they stack on top of each other in the order that you put them in. If a layer has parts that are completely opaque, they will obscure what's underneath them. If a layer has parts that are see-through, you'll be able to see through them to the layers that are underneath it. You can have many layers, or just one if you like. Let's look here just to the left of the layer icon. You can see this little eye icon, which means that the layer is currently visible. You can click on this to toggle it on and off. This is how you show or hide a layer. The layer is still there, it's just hidden for now. Anytime you see this checkerboard pattern, it means there is transparency. It's see-through. Opacity is a very important part of layers. If I select a layer and go up to this Opacity option, I can move this slider or type in a percentage to change the opacity. This changes how opaque the layer is. If it's at 100%, it's completely opaque, and at 0%, it's completely transparent. You can have it anywhere in between. Text is an easy way to show you a new layer. So I'll select the horizontal type tool and type something in. Now you can see that PSE has created a new layer for me. The letters of this text are opaque. It has pixels. And everything around the text is completely transparent. So whatever is underneath this layer will show through. I can move it around. I can make it invisible if I want. And I can turn the opacity up and down. If I turn the opacity down, you can see the layer underneath it start to show through. And if I hide the layers underneath the text layer, you will see only the text layer. Now I'm going to show you a fill or adjustment layer. Now I just go up here to this little icon, and when you hover over it, it says create new fill or adjustment layer. When you click on that, you have all these different options. To show you something that's easy to see, I'll choose a hue saturation layer. You can change the hue. By moving these sliders, you can turn the saturation up or down. I'm going to make a drastic change here so that you can clearly see how the layers are affected. Now that I've done this, I can see that every layer underneath this adjustment layer is being affected by the adjustment. I can move these layers around all I want. Just select the layer you want, then click and drag in the order where you want your layer to be. If I move this adjustment layer to the top, you can see that it affects all layers underneath it. I can also hide the adjustment layer. The thumbnails here on this layer are this one with the sliders on the left, and this shows you that it's an adjustment layer with things that you can change. You can click on this, and it brings the options back up, so you can change it anytime if you want to. I want to draw your attention to this tiny icon here at the bottom left of the box. It says this adjustment affects all layers below. That makes sense given what we've seen. Click to clip to layer. This means that when I click on this, it will clip the adjustment to only the pixels of the layer that's directly underneath it. It no longer will affect the entire image. So if I clip this to the text layer beneath it, it will only affect the text layer. Right next to that icon is another eye that toggles the visibility of this layer, just like the other eye icons you see to the left of the layers. And to the right you can see this white box. This is the layer mask, 
which we'll talk about in a future video. Layer masks are incredibly useful, and I highly recommend following the videos about layers in this course, because they are essential for all types of photo editing, design, and even digital art. If you want to save an image with the layers intact, you must save it in a format that supports layers. You may remember that a JPEG only supports one single layer, so if you tried to save this as a JPEG, it would merge all of your layers together and you wouldn't be able to use them again. So if you want to keep your layers, save your project as a PSD file so that you can keep your layers and work on them again. And when you go to save, make sure that save layers is checked. That wraps up this video introducing you to layers in the PSE editor. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.